What's up everybody? Derek here and today we're at Cabela's. If you can see the big water tower back here. We're gonna go over here to Cabela's and I want to go check out some of their kayaks. I haven't looked at the Ascend in quite a while. I don't know if they've got any of the new ones with the trolling motors built in just to look at but I want to go see what their specs are and how much they cost right now. Of course, if any of you watch my videos, you've seen that I own a Pelican Catch 120. Well, I didn't have much say in that because at Academy is literally around the corner from my house and my wife offered to buy one. So the quickest way to get a kayak was to hurry up and get her to the store so we could actually get one. But I want to check out some of these Ascends and then go to Academy and compare them to what the Pelican Catch this year is to see if there's been any changes to my kayak because it's starting to get all scraped up from the river on the bottom. Sure, I can fix it and patch it and do some other stuff to it, but it'd be nice to have another kayak. So let's go inside of here and check out the Ascends and then go to Academy. All right, here's the kayaks right over here. Ascend, 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 Ascend. Looks like we got Ascend and that's about it. So they're definitely got the market at this store, but Man, look at this thing. That looks like a pretty sweet kayak right there. 128T, 800 bucks. 12 foot eight long, 33 inches wide, 96 pounds and 350 pound capacity. I think my Catch 120 is 34 inches. So this one's an inch more narrow. Holds about 50 pounds less, I do believe. It's got some pretty cool features on it. It's got the paddle slots up top. It's got the bungees for some storage up there. It's cool padding. It's got a hatch. Got the tracks so you can mount rod holders and all that good stuff. Cup holders. Oh, another little access spot. I'm sure that's got like some kind of holder right there. Pretty nice, decent little mesh seat here. We're just positioning it looks like, but it's held by a bungee, so. I don't know how good that is, but it's got a fairly big hatch right here. If you were going for a camping trip or something, that's going to hold a ton of stuff in there. And then on top of that, you've got all this area right here for holding whatever you want. Another access hatch right here. And having flat sides like that, man, the customability of this thing is just endless. If you look at it from bottom to top, that thing is just one straight line all the way down the top. And this one's yak powered. I didn't even see that. It's got yak power and the foot pedestals for keeping your feet in the right place. Oh, there's a plug in right there for the yak power. Yeah, pretty cool kayak for 800 bucks. Just how is the stability? That's the thing. Let's look at the bottom. Whew. That's going to get raked by some rocks. Big time right there. Sticking down. But man, I bet it tracks good. Kind of like a... Oh, man. Pretty sweet. Probably moves pretty good in the water, I bet. I don't know. Then we got a 12T over here at 600 bucks. It's a little bit shorter, but it's still 12 foot. 31 inches. 77 pounds and 350 pound capacity it's almost got the same bottom it looks like but this 128t is a little bit sharper on the bottom but somehow i don't know how they hold the same amount of weight 350 pounds with this one being smaller good amount of storage nice mesh seat it's got storage cup holders not bad looking at all. Then you got the sit-in sides. 700 bucks for an H12. 12 foot, 32 inches wide, 450 pound capacity. So if you're wanting to haul some stuff, that's the probably one to use, but I'm not big on the sit-in sides. That is a pretty sweet looking kayak though. Here's another one. Same thing basically, just different color. And then you got an H10. 600 bucks, 10 footer, but it holds 400 pounds. 
Look how stubby that thing is. It's just a little bitty thing. Huh. Easy to carry around, I'm sure, and holds a ton of weight. We are now at Academy, so let's go inside here. I'm sure there's more of a selection. We got a lot more selection here than compared to over at Cabela's. We got the Native, the 12, 850. Not bad. 33, 12 foot 2. It's basically the same specs as the Ascend. And then you got the catch. Of course, it is shorter, but it is wider. But it holds 400 pounds. That's the thing that I like it. See, this native only holds 325. That ascend was only 350. So that's an extra 50 pounds that I like of gear that you could be holding. The perception, just pretty sweet because it's got a, it's got this back. If you see this back, it's just flat. So you could definitely mount a trolling motor or something right there very easily. Cut that out for a hatch. But this native, uh, it's got a little storage up front up there, not much in the back, just the compartment. Just a basic kayak, looks like. Kind of similar with the catch. Basically, they look about the same, except the native has more storage up front. But the cool thing I like about the catch is the stability with it being wider. And then this perception is 11 foot 6, 35 inches wide, so it's even wider. And it holds 425 pounds, so it's even wider. Wow. But how much does it weigh? 70 pounds compared to 69? Dang. At 700? That's a pretty sweet kayak right there. Uh, and the positioning's a little bit further forward too. I don't know about that little, well, now that I look about that indentation right there, it doesn't look too bad. But if I look at the bottom, it's got a place for, what is that up there? Looks like a place to mount a depth finder. Yeah, it's got a depth finder mount right there. So it can be recessed up there in the, uh, the hull of it. But the hull looks really similar to the Ascend. Very similar. And I like this back here. It's got like polyurethane little pieces for absorbing those scratches. That's pretty sweet. I'm liking this one. And it's roto molded. Huh. Not bad. It's just a pescador kayak, 10 footer, 500 bucks. 11 foot ocean kayak, yeah. This is a pretty cool one too. This is the Catch 10. Just smaller version from the 120. Not bad. But if you're looking for a 10 footer, that'd be a pretty stable one for a 10 footer. Huh. Pretty sweet. Oh, and it's got a hatch back here. A little hatch. Oh, this is the uh, high drive. That's what this one is. I didn't even see this. So this is the pedal kayak. I believe these are like 1300. Yeah, 1300 for the high drive. So it's a 10 footer with the pedal drive. That's the high drive. I do, no, that's the rudder. Rudder will go in the back. It's a pretty cool kayak. You wouldn't have to worry about paddling. This is the kayak that I actually have. I, I've fallen in love with it, but it's the Catch 120. They work really good, but the stability is awesome. With the kind of catamaran design with the little tunnel hall right there, as you can see. Works really well in the stability area. Not so much as in the storage, but right here. This is the kayak that I'm kind of seeing that looks pretty, pretty sweet. It's almost like a, a sup, a stand-up paddle board. It's got these cool built-in I don't know. I'm kind of liking this one. Nice mesh seat, raised way up high, all the storage underneath. It's got like a drain, place for your rods. I really like that. And it's an inch wider than the, the catch. 
and it's a tunnel hole. If you can look down that, it's, this thing would be sweet for a trolling motor. Here's one that's not here, but I noticed that it, you can get through here. It's the Catch Power 100. It's a motor, motor ready kayak, ready to go. Just basically like a little scamp. Pretty sweet, but for a thousand bucks, 30 inches wide, nine, 10 foot long, basically. I think I'd still rather go with a Catch 120, but that's just me. Here's one I walked right past. It's a Perception 10, but it's got the storage back here. It's got an area to put the rudder. Cool little spots back here. It's pretty streamlined. I like how they're putting these polyurethane stubs on them. You can mount accessories and all kinds of stuff in here. Good mesh seat. And the cool thing here is it's a pedal drive. But for fourteen hundred dollars, I don't know if that is actually worth it. I think I'd rather go with the high drive actually than this kind of drive system. This one right here. It's probably a little bit more stable. Or even the Catch Power 100. It's got a motor in it. It's only a thousand bucks if you're trying to get something that's powered. Well, we're back out to the truck from going inside of Academy, and Academy has thrown me a curveball for sure. I have totally mixed up my lineup of kayaks that I would really look at in the same price range that five to a thousand dollars range because the outlaw that I seen in that store is sweet. Now, if I go back to the Cabela's Bass Pro Ascend, that 128T, that thing looks sweet. It would probably be all right for, you know, kayaking around, paddling, uh, just maneuverability, but it doesn't look that stable. And that's one of the things with my preference of how I fish, I like to stand a lot more than I do sit. Uh, lately, I haven't even been taking a seat with me. So, my Pelican Catch 120 is so stable. It's 34 inches wide. I love that thing. It's $800. Now, the Ascend 128T is $800. Of course, you go another $100 down and get one that's even narrower. Like, I think it was 33 inches. But, why would you go ahead and do that? You could go get the Perception for the same price, the, the Outlaw 11 and a half that we've seen inside of here. It has a flat back, a place for a trolling motor, a cutout for a hatch. It's got a nice looking raised seat with tons of storage underneath the seat, rod holder uh, placement. Um, it's almost like a stand up paddle board in a way. And it holds 450 pounds, I do believe, at $700. I Man, it's a crazy ridiculous buy. If I was looking at a kayak, I would definitely be going to Academy and checking that out. I That's got everything you possibly could need for kayak fishing right there in that kayak. And I believe it even had a place for a live putting the, uh, the, the depth finder puck up front and recessing that. Not a lot of kayaks doing that right now. But well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching you guys and subscribe.